you have fun? Yeah. Do you want to go to, wait, where do you want to go someday? Japan? Yeah, you said you want to go to Korea too, right? Korea too. Did you know your hair's kind of crazy right now? Yeah. Yeah. Enzo, how was the airplane? Was it fun? Um, uh -huh. Did you do good? Yes. I'm proud of you, honey. Watch this. You watch. Did we left our house over 12 hours ago. But these guys are just hanging in. They're the best little travelers at this point. Boys, where are we? In Japan. We are in Japan. Japan! Japan! Hi, Edzo. Uh, we have officially been traveling for 15 hours at this point. Dad, Dad. And Enzo Dad. and Knox, you guys did so good. Enzo, I'm proud of you. Okay, the go. boys did so good. We just picked up our rental car near the airport in Tokyo, and we are driving three hours to Mount Fuji. Okay. Cole has a headache, so I went into 7-Eleven, and I was like, I think this is ibuprofen because of this. But we will, we will translate to avoid death. On the first we'll day. see what we got. Google Translate, translate, let's go for this one. Cole almost just took basically sleep medicine before a three hour drive. Oh my gosh. We finally reached our destination. Enzo ran in and said, I play, you're playing. Look how cute this is. We're staying in a cabin by Mount Fuji. I'll show you in the morning because it's like on this property with leaves and everything. But there's the boys' room. There's our room. Oh, Enzo, are you sleeping? You're sleeping? Yes. Night -night. So we ended up flying with this airline called Zip Air, and I had no confidence in them. It was like the cheapest tickets, such a budget airline, and it ended up being amazing. They gave, yes, honey? They ended up giving us Knox's ticket for like a way discounted price. Enzo got his own free seat, and it was just awesome. It was a great flight we had like empty rows around us so Knox slept Enzo slept the boys did amazing we traveled for like 17 hours yesterday because the flight was around 10 then we had the customs line COVID stuff and then we had to pick up a rental car and drive three hours to Mount Fuji where we are now but we woke up with the sunrise we are ready to go we have a lot of things planned today and we are just so excited the leaves are all so beautiful around us we haven't really seen fall before and we're just gonna go for it today we'll take you along with us this is our little cabin and all the pretty leaves around us Knox is too cold to take his hands out to eat his banana huh I found it you, I found it. you we were I found just it. cruising Knox you found it we didn't even know Mount Fuji was right there Knox we're goes, like where the heck is this I thing? found the mountain <laughs> You did it, Knox. Yes, I did. I'm not even going to attempt to say where we are, but I will write it down. We made it to the base. We're going to kind of climb up the stairs. But I am not kidding you. These leaves are taking my breath away. The most beautiful leaves I've ever seen. And they're everywhere. We came at the perfect time. <laughs> did you see a cat in a car? No. Was it funny? We are hiking up to the top. There's like a million stairs. And Enzo, of course, wants me to hold him. But it's a good workout, huh, Enzo? I love it. Did we find Mount Fuji? Oh my gosh, we found it. I can't see. Oh. No, this is a lot of stairs. Look at all these stairs. We've made it to the top. That was so many stairs. But honestly, so worth it. Such a pretty view. We just got to a noodle house. We are getting this noodle that apparently is like specific to the region. And we're excited to try it. Are you battling? This looks so good. I don't even know what it's called. It's like a specific type of noodle, but it looks so good. We just got the special. It was this or horse, horse sashimi. Oh, so. don't touch it. We just found the most incredible park. Cole saying we need to make a series so of awesome. all the insane parks we've been to. We were just walking along. I don't remember what this um, spot's called. I'll write it in. But we wanted to get a view of Mount Fuji from the water. And you can't really tell. 
but the fall leaves are insane over here. We scored. How sweet is this situation? Ready? Uh, and why are you ready? Oh! You did it! Oh, you did! Oh, you want a picture? Yay! Cheese! Oh, look at those trees! Oh my god! Look at those trees! Look at those trees! Oh, there's a lot of trees! Oh my god! Do you know how to read Japanese? Yeah. Well, where, where are we going? Now look at the, that's the road. Okay. okay, and where's the waterfalls? That's the waterfalls. Okay, yeah, okay. I think right. Nanai. 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 Chicken, chicken, chicken. <laughs> what, sweetie? Careful, Enzo, don't fall down. Lox is kissing that poster of ice cream. Thank you. Is, is I kiss all the ones. Uh, we just got to Chirito Falls. This is so cool. This was totally worth it. It was like 20 or no, like 45 minutes drive from where we were staying. But it's a nice pace path. It's hardly anyone here. And it leads here to this. We were questioning whether or not we were going to go here, and I'm so glad we did. talk about how Japan they are the kings of comfort right now I'm sitting on the ground there's a coffee table with a big heater under it and everyone just sits around the coffee table with their blanket and hangs out they're, they're like there's been a hundred times today where I've said to Cole I need to be a grandma here because grandma's in Japan that is where you, that's where you want to be so <laughs> Nox has been under there this is your play spot, huh? Yeah, this is my spot. It's your cozy place, huh? We just got back from an onsen. Basically, they're like Japanese bathhouses where there's, are they natural hot springs or? I actually don't know. I, don't I thought even know. it was, but. The one we went know. to had this insane view of Mount Fuji and it was like, we had no idea what to expect. I told Colin like, oh, our Airbnb host recommended this. I think it's like a bunch of hot tubs. It's cold outside, we were stoked. We didn't realize like we were gonna be split up, so I went with Knox, Cole with Enzo, and we thought we'd meet at the end, but we didn't. We thought it was just yeah, like, you split up like in the locker tub. rooms, and then you. And go then as the soon as we got into the locker pool. rooms, we realized like, oh, we have no idea what's going on. Every and single person was totally naked. Me we too. had the most opposite experiences. We finally reconvened, like we had no way of getting a hold of each other. So after like an hour, we <laughs> reconnected. I was on cloud nine. I was like, this is my favorite thing we've done. I wish I was an old person and I would <laughs> do this old. every single day of my life. And Cole came out and he was like, With your grouper girls, just go. You came out and you were like, No. Yeah, <laughs> I did not, not have the best experience. It was a little, I don't know, a lot, a lot of wieners. And Enzo, <laughs> of course, was calling him out every single one he saw. Oh, weenie, 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 weenie. And I'm like, he was the only kid in there, too. And there was other kids with, with me, so I felt like it was it was fun. But here's the thing. If you go to Japan, you might hate this. Like, you should do this. You might hate it. I freaking loved it. It made me realize, like, okay, I wish we did this in America. This is true self-care. Self -care. There was, like, stations with, like, body scrubs and hair masks. Oh, it was $8. $8. There was probably nine different hot tub pools in there. Like, insane views of mount fuji yeah. everyone there was like 90 year old grandmas just chatting it up with me and i was like what the heck this is like so mellow <laughs> what were you guys chatting about <laughs> well, I mean, none of, no one spoke english but Knox would go konnichiwa and then we'd try to talk there it was the best i'm like so happy we did this but we couldn't take our phones obviously so we didn't vlog it but highlight of the day oh, that was fun bye, bye mount fuji we are so glad we came here. We thought about Bye, taking... Mount Fuji! 
<laughs> we thought about taking Mount Fuji off of our itinerary a few times because it's kind of a get. We drove three hours and then now we're going to Kyoto. So we're going to drive an hour, return the rental car, and then take like an hour and a half train. So it's definitely out of the way. But in my opinion, it cannot be missed, especially during the fall. And I've heard it's insane during the springtime too with all the cherry blossoms. We had an incredible time here. Everyone was so nice. There was so much to do besides even just seeing Mount Fuji, which honestly I could just look at all day. Food was so good. It was awesome. It was 100% recommend. We are leaving. This is this is the cutest little cabin we stayed in. It was actually a perfect location. I'll, I'll put the link in the description because it was near everything in Fuji, but it was up like kind of in the trees by itself. Ready? I like to go bamboo. Yes, what else are we gonna do there? We gotta get in your seat so and the deers. deers. We are at the Shizuka station. We drove here from Fuji and we're waiting for our train. We're gonna take it to Kyoto. The boys are very excited. Enzo wins Traveler of the Year. He passed out on the train, stayed asleep, and we are in the most hectic train station. And he is still snoozing. Who, who gave you these? Uh, auntie. An uh, auntie did? Yeah. A little Japanese auntie saw Knox crying, huh? Yeah. He was having a little moment, and she walked up with a whole box of cookies. They're so good. And gave you some cookies. This is the first time in Cole's life he's hit a door frame when he's walked in. Barely. We just got to our cutest Airbnb. We're staying in Kyoto for the next couple days and we're staying in this neighborhood. It's the cutest house. So it's just like this. It's pretty small. And then there's a little garden. There's a little tub. And then if you go upstairs. And then our bedroom. Okay, we could not get the boys to stay in the stroller. They just kept trying to run into the road. So we got a bag of popcorn from 7-Eleven. And this may be our greatest travel hack yet. They are, they are in it. You okay, bud? We just got to Fushi and Nara. I think that's how you say it. And this is a place that has like a thousand gates. Cole's getting a crab leg, and we are ready to go. You this place uh, is so cool. A you had a kitty? Yes. There's like a million of these pillars. It goes on for days. <laughs> Ended up traveling most of the day, but it was actually so nice. The drive to, I think it's called Shizuoka. 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 It was about an hour and a half from where we were staying near Mount Fuji. And then um, after that, we just walked to the train station. It was super close. And um, the train was really mellow. It was like an hour and a half. Enzo slept the whole time. He did awesome. It was great. And so now we are in Kyoto. Um, we are at one of the temples. I think tonight we're going to try to get sushi or kaiseki or maybe um, Kobe beef. So we'll keep you posted. <laughs> My gosh, this is so much. Fun. I texted Cole. Cole went and picked up sushi while the kids, while I put the kids down. And My I texted gosh. him and I actually said, This is my order. So then he ordered double, but I actually was ordering for both of us. So we have like an obscene amount of sushi. The thing is, the hardest part about vacation with kids is going out to eat. So the fact that we are eating alone. I thought these were one biters. I thought they were small. Babe. Uh, oh, look. Two look. hats. <laughs> I cute. love that hat. And, uh, <laughs> we're, going to, we're going to Nara right now. And we accidentally took the slow train. So it looks like it's going to be over an hour <laughs> instead of 30 minutes. <laughs> Yeah, playing I Spy to entertain them. Oh. It took us so long to get here. We were supposed to take a train that was like 30 minutes, ended up being 70. That was our mistake. So that, yeah, that took a while. And then we got to the station, then we had to take a bus. But we are here, the boys are so excited and I think we're gonna spend most of the day here because they're loving this. <laughs> let's go, let's go, let's go. This was so worth it. Enzo, is this fun? Enzo, here's food. We'll give it to the deer. Oh my god.
You pet it? Oh, hi, baby. Feed your baby. friend, Enzo. Oh, Enzo, look, feed your friend. Here, give him some crackers. Enzo, feed him. Let's have him. I'm going to feed him. We're going to split him up so all the deers can eat. Yeah, I'm so happy to meet you. I'm a pet. Look, deer, we're so happy to meet you. What should we name this deer? Uh, Pete's. Oh, Mr. Pete's, we're so happy to meet you. <laughs> and so this is Mr. Pete's. Hi, Mr. Pete's. Uh huh? Did you pet him? Oh, Enzo's going off. We just picked up pot stickers, and then this old man was making mochi from scratch, like hand pulled. So we just walked to this little lake. We're taking in these insane views. And Enzo's <laughs> passed out. Expert dad mode. Skipping the stairs. Oh my gosh, look at the width. Do not risk waking up Enzo at any cost. This is the coolest temple. It's so narrow. It's super tall. There's like a bunch of shrines and temples up here. This one is next level. This deer is just sending it. This is so iconic. <laughs> oh, he's not hungry, Knox. <laughs> we are walking to the Kiyozin Dera Temple, and we found this little side street. This is so cute. This is like iconic Japan. Okay, let's go. Let's go. We just got to the temple and we actually beat a big amount of the crowds. It is so beautiful. We're gonna trek up, up there and then you can see the trees from the back, but this is definitely worth it. The street is really, really cute. I'm so glad we got here early. Look how empty it is. Oh, Enzo, that doggy's cute. Is that a cute dog, Enzo? That is a cute doggy. Oh, the dragons are the highlight, I think. Oh, he's scared. Oh, no. I'm scared. Oh, no. I'm scared. <laughs> yes. This is one of the coolest views I have ever seen. And this is definitely fall. Like, I cannot believe we scored this. I cannot believe I'm seeing this with my own eyes. Oh, my gosh. Just checked out of our Airbnb and we are going to go to the bamboo grove and the monkey forest. We have all of our stuff with us. All of our stuff. We just took the train from Kyoto to the bamboo forest and the monkey park. Of course, it started raining, but it's actually really pretty. We could just snag some umbrellas from the store. And Enzo was passed out in the stroller. And then look at Knox. Knox is just chilling on cold shoulders. It's so sweet. It's so cute. He's just holding the umbrella. Hey, Noxie. What? Do you think we're going to see the monkeys today? Yeah, they're in the park. They're in the park? Uh -oh. But what if it rains on them, Knox? Oh, oh. Have a so they'll be safe? Yeah. Okay. Oh, safe in the rain. We were teaching Knox about bamboo and we told him that panda bears eat it. And he thought we said baboon. So we said, do panda bears eat the monkey's legs? <laughs> yes, that was a parenting fail. No, they eat these. We are at the bamboo forest. This is probably one of the coolest things we've done in Japan. The photos don't even really capture how cool it is. Say cheese! Not say cheese! Oh, the, the bamboo isn't saying cheese. Say cheese! Not saying cheese! <laughs> Why he doesn't talk? Because he's a plant. Oh, 
oxes is cool. <laughs> it is absolutely downpouring. Knox has been in a really good mood, thankfully, because we've walked, like, it's going to be almost three miles by the end. He's killing it. We've carried him a lot, too, but we're walking in a monkey park right now. And so still sleeping. So Knox has to walk while he's in the stroller. Let me see. Let me see. Nice, dude. You're really good. We are so tired. <laughs> we made it to the monkey park. It was literally so long. It took us like 45 minutes to get here. You're the monkey, Zenzo. And we finally got here and then the sign said, 20 minute walk up these stairs and then we're actually there. Monkey Park, Monkey Park, Monkey Park, Monkey Park. I am going to need 14 business days to recover from this trip. The sheer amount of stairs I have done with a toddler on my head. Imagine going on the stair stepper for an hour with a 30 pound toddler on your head. That's what I've been through. There are so many monkeys around. Oh my gosh, look at us. They're fine. I'm scared. Monkey. So wet. <laughs> it's so cool. These monkeys don't even live in a cage. They live in these mountains, but they can just cruise up and we go in the cage and feed them. Hi, monkey. Hi, monkey. There's so many. Wow, he loves it. He loves our food. Knox wow. saying, I don't want to see this. And Enzo oh my God. Knox just said, I don't want to see this. And Enzo went, fight, fight, fight. That is the difference between these two. I don't want to see this. I want to see it because that. Okay, Knox, these ones are nice oh, though. This one's nice. Oh, he's nice. He's Hi, nice. nice guy. A monkey. 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 I may have had a miniature breakdown today. Today was incredible. We had the most incredible day. That area is unreal. And that's where we want to stay next time we go back. Um, but after that full day, like so much more walking than we planned. So wet, so rainy. We had to travel to Tokyo. And so what we did is we took a train from where we were to the Kyoto station, picked up our luggage, then took a bullet train to Tokyo. It was two and a half hours. Boys did amazing. But then we got there and had to take a subway to Disneyland. That was like 30 minutes. And then a shuttle to our hotel. And then we got to our hotel at 10 p.m. It was a 30 minute wait to check in. The boys were losing their mind. I had to go get Enzo milk. So I was in the grocery store with two of them while Cole was checking in. The, the line to the grocery store was literally 30 minutes and Enzo was screaming at the top of his lungs. I felt so bad, but I couldn't get out of line because I needed milk. And Knox finally just fell asleep in the stroller and Enzo was just losing his mind. This kind man carried all my groceries for me. And when I got to college, I just, started I just bawled for like five minutes because it was so stressful. But then we checked into our room. Our room was amazing. We're so excited for Disneyland, but it was just like... Do you know what your surprise is today? Yeah. Do, you, do you know why we're here, Knox? Yeah. In this special hotel? In this special place with your special outfits on? Where do you guys think we're going? Can I tell you? I don't know. Tell. Knox? Where are we today, going today? Today, for your surprise, we're taking you to Disneyland. Yay! You're going <laughs> to Disneyland! Yay, yay, yay! Yeah. <laughs> We're trying to take the boys to Disneyland right now, but they won't leave the hotel lobby train. <laughs> We're like, you guys, there are rides at Disneyland and they just want to see this. We made it to Tokyo Disney Sea. We've never been here before, obviously. So we're gonna show you what it's like, what our day's like. 
We're walking to the Little Mermaid town. It is pretty. So cute. And this is just what we're waiting line. So freaking cool. We've only been on one ride, but we're already claiming that this is the best Disneyland. Look at Ariel's <laughs> castle. And then there's Aladdin that's over there. And that's where Ariel's daddy lives. Exactly. This is... <laughs> This is just one part of this park. This whole Little Mermaid land. Enzo! He's so happy. They have this giant play area called Ariel's, play or Ariel's Playground. And it's just like a ropes course. This room you can play in. Hey, don't drop it, dog. No. Oh, Enzo's got it. <laughs> This is matcha white chocolate popcorn. And this was the longest time we've waited in all day. Yep, that was good though. because we checked out of our hotel and we have a flight tonight. So we're locking some things up and then we're going down to Shibu Shibuya and Tokyo. Wants to race to the gate. Run, 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 run! Wow, that was fast. We are back home in Hawaii. The boys did incredible on the flight, and overall, it was just an amazing trip. It totally exceeded my expectations. The people were amazing. The food was amazing. The views were amazing. And Tokyo Disney Sea was so much fun. That's for sure our new favorite Disneyland park, and we want to go back again in the future. I hope that this video was helpful if you're planning a trip to Japan or at the very least lets you know that traveling with two little crazy kids is totally possible and not just possible, but enjoyable. So thank you for watching. I love Japan. You love Japan?